next one is this one. <clears throat> Lake of Two Valley Hole in One. What? Hole, hole One is a par four. Why didn't I save this one? Uh, this has got to be a hole in one then. Hole in one on a par four. Yeah, I definitely got to lock this one later. It's coming in. It's coming in. Look at it coming in like a comet. It's just like Mario's ball on the fly too. How could I have forgot to save that one? My God! Hit the Y button to lock that thing. That was awesome. Next one is oh this one again, and it's with Neil again. So what makes this one special? Why am I showing this one again? It's just like the shot that I made before. Um, I'm not playing on tournament greens this time, as you can see. So I guess this one's kind of different. Oh, I'm only nine feet away. It's like the easiest albatross ever. So I got two albatrosses on this hole. I guess if you want to fill out your albatross reel, um, your highlight reel, just go to that hole and play it repeatedly. Um, hole 17. Wait, isn't this a part 5? I think this is a part 5. Yep. And obviously, since this hole is straight, I won't be able to like, cut corners on like a dog leg or something like that to get on the green in one. So this one is obviously going to be a chip in from the distance. Uh, if you could even call a chip in from uh, a chip in a chip in from this distance, so to speak, um, I guess you could call it that. It's only 127 yards away. <laughs> well, the game calls it a chip in, so I'm calling it a chip in. Next one is Bulger Badlands Hole Three. Oh, this one. This one's one of my favorite ones. Just watch how I do this hole. See this? I'm going to take a driver and curve it around this wall and aim straight towards the green with my ultra super strong driver, Neil, here. I should actually lock this one because this is a spectacular shot. I hit off the rock there, as you can see there. It actually lands on the green and near the hole within albatross distance on the putt. That is... Wow. <laughs> you don't see that very often. Yeah, right off the rock. I'm going to lock that one. For sure. <laughs> I don't want to lose that one if I uh, fill out that albatross reel. Uh, Balls of Badlands hole 5. I mean, uh, part 5, hole 16. This is an extremely long hole. Um, it's very rare that you can even get on this on the green in 2 with a really strong character. You need a character that you either train yourself or bring over some of the clubs from the Game Boy Advance. Um, the special custom clubs from the Game Boy Advance to uh, increase the drive distance of characters to, to even get on the screen and to, holy cow! Uh, but to get an albatross on it is a, exceptional. And look at that piranha plant behind me. Even he's smiling with his toothy grin. His toothy snarly teeth. Next one, Hole 8, Shifting Sands. What's up, Hole 8? Um, wait, this is the par 4? Holy crap. Oh my god. I actually got a hole in one on this one and don't remember it. Oh my god. This hole is pretty hard to get that close to the hole, let alone get it in um, with Neil. So I'm locking this one. <laughs> well, this is fun. I, I forgot to lock a lot of these that I should have locked. Par uh, 5, nothing special probably about this albatross, uh, albatross other than the fact that, th that it's a chip in albatross. Um, and yes, all these shots were made by me. No one else really played this game with me. Uh, so not to brag or anything, because these are all obviously lucky shots that I'm showing here. Um, thunk, yeah! Albatross for the win! Next one. Oh, there's only two left. This one's Peach's Castle Grounds. Uh, this one again? This is the third albatross on this hole. Well, no wonder I got more albatrosses than I got holes in ones. One time would have been enough, but two times is just overkill. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one's different. This one, I'm in the bunker. Uh, so I guess I chip it in from here. Which still isn't all that exceptional, because as I said, uh, I, get, I used to get chip-ins a dime a dozen all the time. Uh, if you didn't notice... The clubs I use with the Neil there were the purple, were the purple ones, which are the uh, approach shot clubs. 
with special super accuracy club, so to speak. Um, and that's what I did to get my character to have really accurate chip shots, regardless of if I miss hit them or not. I, I literally... Oh! <laughs> Hard four hole in one. I gotta lock that one, too. Um, that's how I got uh, chippins all the time back then with Neil, was I got really accurate clubs. And so, that's about it for this uh, bonus feature here. Uh, it, it turned out to be about three parts for this bonus feature, bonus thingy here. Um, I guess I could show my scores, with my best best scores for each course. 32 for uh, Lakitu Cup, 29, 27, 24, 24, 25. I got better at Bowser's Championship than I did, holy cow. Um, start tournament, statistics, let's see the scores, 27, 23, 22, obviously these are harder, but they're still, uh, 18 under power or better, that's still pretty dang good, I gotta say, not to brag, um, that's about it, really, um, nearest pin challenges, um, front, backs, and 18, that's my statistics there, is there any side games? Um, oh, these are birdie challenges. To show which character did which which things. Um, I already did them all with Koopa, as you've seen before. Uh, there's Koopa there. Why, why isn't it showing... Uh, hey, it isn't showing the statistics? What the heck? I did them all with Koopa today. Why isn't it showing the statistics? See that? That is so weird. Well, whatever. It's not showing those little suns. Those little Super Mario sunshines. Uh, oh wait, maybe it's because I didn't have a star character. Oh yeah, there we go. I did them with the star characters. Well, never mind. I was just being a doofus there. Uh, Speed goal. What's my best records here? Uh, er, mm, I never did these two. Wow. Or that one. Or these three. Wow. I guess I'm gonna have to do those someday. Coin attack. Did I do all these? No, I didn't do all these. I always found the coin attack to be kind of boring. To be honest. Club shots. I didn't do these, like, at all, except Tango Pan Canopy, obviously. Green Attack, oh, this only shows which characters I did, uh, just like before, character matches, uh, these are pointless, it just shows which character beat which character. Um, if you get a Rainbow Star, um, that means you didn't save at all. Sometimes I had to save, um, because even the game designers knew that you could cheat the game by saving, so... You, so you're rewarded with rainbow stars rather than regular stars. Oh, and that's it. Alright, again, hope you enjoyed the bonus features. See you later.